Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in this evening for the premiere of my documentary on the making of Santa Are You Almost On Your Way, my pop Christmas single. My name is Consuelo. I'm not Spanish. I'm a pianist and songwriter from Milan, but living in the UK. I'm not a filmmaker. I decided to make a documentary on the making of my Christmas song to help inspire other songwriters like you with tips I learned along the way during the making of my Christmas single, Santa, Are You Almost On Your Way? There it is. Over here. I'm going to phone Santa. Uh, you might have done that. Santa, are you almost on your way? I came up with the melody for the verses when I was living in Cornwall. Ever since I had a mobile phone, which had the facility to record, I remember recording melodies. And I remember that day, the 27th of August 2006, I was walking around and I came up with this tune. So I recorded it and uh, this is the original melody of it. During Christmas 2020, I was learning mixing techniques by watching a YouTube video made by Graham of the RecordingRevolution.com about recording and releasing a song in eight weeks. This inspired me to make a new music project in 2021. This is how I came about composing and recording Santa, Are You Almost On Your Way? It really wasn't that difficult to get inspired to write a Christmas single. Because where I live, we have a Christmas shop open all year round. So I could get into the Christmas spirit quite easily. Look how beautiful it is. We've got Santa, Christmas pears. Joseph and Mary, little Jesus. If you want to know what we're going to for your Christmas letters. Whoa, a box of fun. A wonderful Christmas tree. Stockings. So magical. And we're in June. <laughs> My forte is composing top melody lines, harmonies and piano parts. I'm still learning the art of mixing and being Italian, my lyrics can sometimes be too wordy. This hasn't been a problem for my non-mainstream material, but as I was writing a commercial pop single, I decided to source collaborators to complement my skills. So I contacted a talented producer I worked with before. He was already working with a friend of his, so the three of us opened a conversation. Two melodies came to mind during the Christmas holidays, but they both sounded like verse melodies. I played with the song until I turned one of these melodies into a chorus. I made a quick demo on Pro Tools and played it to some close musicians friends of mine whose opinions are really careful. And they all told me that the chorus melody wasn't strong enough for a chorus, as it didn't have the climax that a chorus melody needs. My collaborators also agreed with my friends, so I worked and reworked on the chorus until we were happy with it. As it happens, I used the old chorus melody for the verse, as it is catchy. I had to get into the Christmas spirit in January after Christmas had only just gone, so I went in the garage and unpacked the Christmas decorations box got the lights out and re-entangled them. I placed them by my piano and got all Christmassy again. Well, I'm being spoiled today. I'm having a cup of tea in a Christmas shop. Look at the china. Ah, look at my brownie. I had never written a Christmas song before and I knew that this would have been a big arrangement 
So, to get inspired, I played various traditional and contemporary songs, studied their structures, chord progressions, imagery used, production techniques, and my poor husband had to listen to Christmas songs in the house and in the car, day in, day out. Did you know that Jingle Bells had been around for more than 150 years? It was originally published in 1857 as a song to celebrate Thanksgiving. It was also the first song broadcast from space. Brenda Lee, the singer behind Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, was only 13 years old when she recorded this song. Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas was written in only 15 minutes, would you believe? The original lyrics of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas were changed from the following, which are really rather alarming. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. It may be your last. Next year, we may all be living in the past. Thank goodness they were changed. The Pogues accordion player, James Fernley, hit the wrong note when recording the intro to Fairy Tale of New York. When he came to recording the song, right at the end, he hit a B instead of an E. The song producer, Steve Lillywhite, liked this note and refused to let Fernley re-record it. The keys of D and G typically seem to make a Christmas song jollier. Mine is in D. And there's a chord that stands out amongst Christmas songs, which is the D minor 7 flat 5 chord. Apparently, it sounds warm. I joined the Avar Academy of Composers and, in the newsletter, I saw that a label was looking for Christmas songs and the deadline for submission was April 30th, so we set that date as our deadline to finish the project. For personal reasons, the original producer that was on board to work on this project couldn't commit until close to the deadline, so the other writer and I started collaborating on the lyrics and then I brought in for extra input a talented songwriter I met last year via an online open mic. We all had a different idea of what Christmas meant to us and wanted to bring this into the lyrics. It was important to us to make the narrative inclusive, with no religious content, so everyone could sing the song, and we wanted the imagery in the lyrics not to be specific to a single country's tradition, like for example Christmas crackers, which is a UK thing, or eggnog, which is a US thing so anyone could sing the song everywhere and make it theirs. There is a lot of pressure at Christmas to buy presents, get the best outfit and china for the party, cook the perfect meal and stress carries on and on and on. But in 10 years' time, I bet you won't remember what you got from Joe Blog, what you wore at the office party, what clothes you put on the table or if there was potatoes for crunchy. However, you remember the special Christmas memories the laughter, the romantic moment, and you can bring that with you for life. This is what we meant in the chorus by Box of Fun. I have spent years writing in my bedroom, on my own, and writing, as much as it can be liberating, healing and fun, it can also be a lonely pursuit. I loved collaborating on this song because it gave me the opportunity to bounce off ideas with talented people, but collaborating comes with its fair share of complications. For a start, there needs to be trust, no egos. You have to be able to let go of ideas, even when you really like them. And one needs to be able to compromise and don't forget to have fun. I was lucky that my collaborators and I were really passionate about this project and on the same wavelength. It helped to bring in the third collaborator because when two people are disagreeing on what it is the best line to use and then both have very valid reasons for wanting to use their idea, you really do need that third person to make the majority, which puts everyone on even ground. I used Pro Tools to record, arrange and produce the song. When arranging the song, I tried following the Max Martin Melodic Math Magic Formula, which is all about adding elements of the chorus throughout the verses. I achieved this by repeating the first two notes of the chorus with my Christmassy pitched bell sound throughout the verses, 
so that by the time the listener arrives at the chorus, they will already be familiar with the opening notes of the chorus and feel like they can join in. I'm making space for the Christmas tree. I can adorn with my family. Tell me, Santa, are you almost on your way? For personal reasons, my collaborators were pushing the recording very close to the deadline, and I was very uncomfortable with that as I like to be organised and account for risks. So I took the decision to hire a drummer, bassist, singer, mixing and mastering engineer by Fiverr.com to get the job done. It was the first time that I had used this service and I was very nervous about working this way as, so far, I had recorded the traditional way in studio with the musicians in the live room and next to the producer in the control room. I had to be very specific when giving directions on Fiverr to these professionals, has these helped to achieve the desired result. I lived and breathed this song, waking up at night inspired by a lyrical or melody line, and was absolutely exhausted when I finished it, as the arrangement turned out to be a giant epic 29 tracks. If you want to earn money from your work, you need to join the PRS which is a lifetime £100, and PPL, which is free. When we finished the lyrics, my collaborators and I had to agree on a fair royalty split, according to our contribution to the song. None of us had been involved in drawing up this type of agreement before, so we all set out to do some research. Blogs, lawyers and various companies told us that there was no written rule on the matter and that every partnership draws their own personal conclusions. Some bands split royalties equally and some songwriters give producers and session musicians points if they are involved in the writing process. The deadline was approaching. I needed to work on the song arrangement and this contract matter was killing the creative process. So I decided to join the Musicians' Union for extra support. I found a simple joint work agreement template that we could use and we agreed to use that. When collaborating, make sure that you have something written that explains what each person has contributed to the work, being melody and lyrics, as music industry's professionals will want to know that a song is ready to be placed and that they don't have to chase all their collaborators to get a sync deal, for example. The song was ready at the end of April, so it was the wrong time of the year to release it, as it wouldn't get played on radio we decided to pitch the song to publishers with the hope to get a famous artist to cover it and get it placed on adverts, movies and playlists. Following are some useful links of services and software which are used to design the artwork and make this documentary, which I hope will help in your creative ventures. This video will be available to you after the premiere, so you can pause on this page and write down all the links you need. I can't wish you a Merry Christmas yet because we're in June where I can wish you a safe and happy summer ahead. I love all the traditional big bands, jazz and pop songs that we've been listening to for years but it would be really good to have a few new ones. So I toast to the hope that you'll be dancing, partying and singing to the notes of my Christmas pop single Santa, are you almost on your way? Ever since I had a mobile phone, which had the facility to record, I remember recording melodies on on my mobile phones. I remember recording... Ever since I owned a... Ever since I owned a... Ever... How do people do this for a job? (laughs) Should do... Intro. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I decided to make a homemade documentary on the making of my Christmas song to inspire other songwriters like you. Like you. Like you. Like you. Like you. Hello. Did you know that Jingle Bells? Did you know that Jingle Bells, did you know that Jingle Bells, did you know that, did you know, did you know? 
Brenda Lee, the singer behind this one. <laughs> what is what is this one? What is this one? 